Greetings once again, heroes and villains out there. These it is been back with more My Hero Academia, where previously, Star and Stripe, the number one hero in America, was making her way to Japan with her team in order to help out in the battle against all for one. But Tomura Shigaraki came out to meet her and try to steal her quirk. Star came pretty close with her range of ability, but through deception and misdirection, Tomura was able to get in and steal her quirk. But in a last ditch effort, Star gave a command using new order to her very own quirk that it would rampage against other quirks. So as Star faded away into nothing, her quirk raged within Tomura Shigaraki's body destroying quirk after quirk after quirk. As well as itself, Tomura was forced to flee, and as the US mourned the loss of their hero, Star's team delivered the data on what happened to Tomura Shigaraki to All Might. All Might relayed this information to the kids of Class 1A, but because of this setback, our heroes have been given another week until Tomura Shigaraki's body is completed. It's time for them to continue their training for the final battle. What'll happen next? Join me as I find out, won't you? Nope, not in the forest. Is this what I think it is? Ah, no, I guess that's later. Oops, go through it. It's all right, other me. It's all right. The factors are just mixed up and out of order. By the time you'll be able to use your quirks again, I'll kill you. I hate you. As long as someone remembers the face of all might, this frustration won't go away. Our consciousnesses are crumbling are combining. I can feel it. His intense anger and sharing in Tomura's resentment. Symbiosis. It's alright. This is excellent. Even though we didn't get new order, you could say that we cleared away our greatest obstacle. Take it easy. It's not good to cling to a single blueprint anyway. Sorry to say this after having you get ready, but please wait a little longer. No way. I can't take it anymore. My old man's flying energetically through the sky. Today, too. I can't stand it. Toya, so, uh, you and I are similar, but there's one difference between us. Hair? <laughs> Listen close. Someone like me makes many, many routes for a single goal. More precisely, I'd make just-in-case routes many years and decades in advance. I shift through the best paths in order to reach my goal. That's right. There is an infinite number of routes. My completed body will take more time. And Izuku Midoriya has returned to UA. Wait, you could detect it from that distance away? But not like you, Toya. I have many friends. Mm, yeah. The thing is... Villain. He has many friends. Birds. Not the birds! Here I go. Black Abyss. Come on. Sugar. Octoblow. Twirling Tail Dance. Oof. <laughs> Charge Volt. Here I go. Chet Raiders. Take that and that and that and that and that. Ew. One more time. Froffy. Gravity. Meteor. Wait, what? Froff. Fafferot. Fafarotskis? Also, ew. All that dirt on your tongue. Ooh, Black Whip. Look at him go. Come on. Ooh, got him. Oh, he left behind his sweat. Nice. Take that. Also gross. This is stored up in fire I learned from at Endeavors. And there's not just one blast. I make them into balls of sweat and blow them up all at once. That's my new cluster. So right now I'm going to level up all my moves. It takes time to heat up my body though. Uh, so that's why you're wearing your winter outfit. It's so hot it heats up my stamina though. So I have to choose one or the other. Federico also seems like he's different from before too. Oh, I know what move he's pre prepping for. I'm just starting to get the hang of it. But I think my control of my left side is getting close to that on my right side. So I can make a body that can withstand Dobby's fire. Oop, right and left, my body is one. Oh, still popping him off. I might say it'd be an all out war, but you know. Hmm? And the villains who bosses weak villains two bosses weaken right now you know he's popping those off but who who cleans them up what happens to them after he pops them off do they dissolve after a while or i don't know if i ever heard about how that works he's captured jagatamaki and kept him asleep too right so once we find the two bosses don't you think we can take him there are three things we aren't thinking about what? Three? First, we probably can't find them. Up until now, even though we found the Nomu hangar, Tree Rocky's hideout in the research lab. Ever since All Might defeated him, we've never once found All for One. Yeah, elusive bastard. He's the best in the world at running away and hiding. Yeah, he has time on his side. He, he, 
<laughs> he has the one thing people who are long lived always have their on uh, on their side and that's time I might not be able to beat you but i can always wait you out that old nutsack thing i don't want to hear about nuts second the shigaraku you fought last time was incomplete right considering how many people we've lost since then it's tough to say if we're even a match for them now yeah and third this side can decide when we start the quirk stolen from ragdoll third which can find even far away quirk even if that quirk was lost during the fight with america so second likely means we're done for that's probably why we're desperately throwing people at the problem now <laughs> that's right his hair oh that's why at least for the first move in order to lead shigaraki and the others where we want them i need to hurry oh, you mean we right <laughs> yeah midoriya squad squad up yeah oh speaking of which it's okay to walk around right it should be fine for a bit thanks to Uraraka's speech interactions with hero course and evacuees have gotten better too embarrassed <laughs> i don't blame her even if it was a good speech still embarrassing to think about in the end no matter how much we corner him all for one he's laughing oh, that was a weird transition ever since Ginga and Jackie, he seemed down that's true of everyone but you have no choice but to do it he got no more interest structured from that man don't worry the message are encoded as usual to look like normal message between civilians in case they're intercepted and this is a blind spot the surveillance cameras can't see right it's fine even after midoriya came back i was worried because he didn't smile everything's working according to what all for once said in little kamina if you don't do this we'll be killed here you go yeah <sighs> some people got bent out of shape because they felt like it was too late to kind of reveal this but i'm like no the idea for a mole being just gestating for the longest time and then do the author saying oh yeah i forgot about who i was gonna make the moles like no nah, i don't believe that i believe he might have switched up who it was here and there but i like the idea of having it be a misdirect with aoyama then revealing it was actually aoyama and it really did kind of throw us off the trail because it at first you're thinking Higakure? no it's like no it's, it's yuga yuga aoyama a lot of people thought it would be kaminari though i think because of a few comments he said too which i i i'm also one of the people who's just like could it be kaminari but then the thought of it being Higakure came up i'm like i mean yeah it could have made actual sense but ultimately a lot of the clues we're giving as to why it's aoyama are just like you know what that actually adds up a lot more than anything else so it makes me kind of believe that maybe it was always that it was aoyama because a lot of the clues add up way too much you were able to do what he asked right after you started school right and at the training camp you let us know where you were without anyone finding out why would you just be revealing all this those who showed up suddenly at usj and during the training camp in the woods villains came even though they kept the location a secret don't tell me we've never done this because we wanted to but it's too late now it's much too late yeah in too deep even if this isn't what you wanted y'all made a deal with the devil mama papa but i know this can't be true oh wait ayama ayama was he just wanted you to be happy you go, do you want to be like everyone else yes i mean it's very scary to be different you're born without a quirk so in order to keep you from being excluded so you can just follow your dreams like everyone else that's all we wanted for you yeah there was a much deeper reason why he related to zuku if i had known that this would happen I wouldn't have done it. Definitely not. I wouldn't have taken a quirk from All for One. But now that we've that we're involved with All for One, you can't run away from him. Yeah. There's a reason why Yuga's ability never seemed to jive with his body, you know? And it makes so much sense because nobody else really has that problem. Even Todoroki, where it's like if he uses one side too much, it affects the other side. Yeah, but that's why his body has that balancing then again there's also toya whose body kind of went against him but it was a bit more of a deeper reason behind that hot and cold not really mixing but there's no reason why ayama's ability should have been affecting him like it was someone a teacher someone it was so hard i always acted in a way to keep from getting caught i would have been crushed by the guilt so i always forced myself to be tough when all for one was caught in kamina i mistakenly thought i could be the same as everyone else oh you go. please forgive us please forgive us for our foolishness i want to protect you too i don't want you to die Yiga, please help us. Yiga. Oh, oh boy. Uh, I, uh, 
heard from Hagakure that the spy. What are you talking about? This must be, I'll be a huge misunderstanding. Midoriya, Midoriya. I then I was the only one who couldn't say anything. Yeah, everyone else in our class called out to you, and everyone was desperately reaching out to you. Back then, I was the only one. Oyama, I stop. My power is a special power that I received from All Might. You were, I always wanted to be an equal. You were, I, I thought something was wrong since you were the only one who still looked sad. So I came to look for you. Yes, I was the only one at the USA in the training camp. Yuga, I led them to us. Midori, I am the terrible villain. Oof, 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 oof. It was a hell of a reveal. I get it. I get it. Other people feel that the reveal was bad or this, that, and the other, but no, I'm sorry. I believe it was a great reveal. I actually love the reveal that it was Ayama. Ah, can't stop twinkling, ain't shining as brightly anymore. Deku. Oh, unlike you, Toya. I have many friends. Friends, huh? Would it be bad for us if they found they're found out? That won't happen. If a hundred yen lighter stops working, what do you do? Buy a new one. If they succeed, I'm happy. But if it doesn't work, I'll just be disappointed and think, oh, that didn't work and move on to my next route. Essentially he's saying people are disposable. They're nothing more than disposable tools, exactly. But telling this to them is like, okay, so that's what we are to you as well. If they let me have a bit of fun, that's great. Man, right? Mom and Papa are both dismayed that I was quirkless. The two of them were wealthy and were raised without want for anything. I'm sure they were more worried about me being different than I was, though they were probably desperately wishing for my happiness. Yeah, the last thing two wealthy people who have never wanted for everything would want was be their son to be ostracized but all the money in the world can't buy you common sense when they followed rumors of someone who could give quirks freely the quirk i received wasn't a good fit for my body so it was hard oh yeah mom and papa went through a lot in order to raise me yeah and it might seem convenient but no we know that this is something that all for one did he would take quirks give them to other people but that's mostly because he was sorting through the best ones the ones he could optimize most He'd give someone a quirk. Eh, I don't think I could use this properly. Here, you have it. Or this one is a little volatile for my body, or I can't make this work as easily as I want it to. You have. And something that it's kind of a spoiler, but it really isn't. So skip a little bit ahead. But All for One has a cult around him because of his abilities. That's why so many people kind of know about him and kind of don't. So it makes sense why the wealthy would be the ones to really know about something like this and would probably keep it under lock and key because I was very afraid of being different. My dream, which started from a desire to conform, is to one day do what mom and papa did for me there's a rumor that all might is going to be a teacher put him in the ua for others tell me when the class is unsupervised to make people happy right at the usj when he kept saying do you want to know where i was where you want to know where i was by playing it up that he did something great in his boasting he hides the fact that we, he was hiding and cowering that he had led the villains here to make people happy tell me where the train camp is being held Although another misdirect is him helping in the end, but he was still hiding too. For everyone's sake, I uh, once the Zukimidori is back at UA, lure him out so he's all alone. When I found out that you were quirkless like me from that letter, I despaired. Love it all, Yama. About everything. Neva. One for all. Laser. Oh, the ultimate enemy. My body reflects light. We all could have died. Oh, although Japan is in trouble. Her face. What were you thinking when you were in class? At the dorms. You were living with all of us. Well, Ayama. No, it's not like that. He is not. Ayama. I already made it so you don't have to hurt others anymore. So, stop this. Stop doing this already. <laughs> I see. So you received a quirk from All for One and was then controlled by him. He must have received the quirk about 10 years ago. The fact that he's fine right now means that there wasn't anything like the, what Nagant had that would trigger an explosion if he betrayed All for One. He can say conclusively now. There's a traitor amongst us, isn't there? I can't believe it was a student. Oof. If possible, I'd like you kids to leave. Like we could do that. It doesn't make sense. If Agree hadn't found you, what would he have done? Ayama. Ayama, say it isn't true. You were tricked, weren't you? You weren't doing it on purpose, were you? To think that you were also formerly quirkless. It's a small world. Unfortunately, we're still trying to restore a state of order. Tell us everything you know about All for One. Yeah, under most circumstances, normally you wouldn't have the kids present, but 
they don't really have the facilities and aren't really equipped to do all that so this is kind of slapdashed we don't know anything he just acted when we were told if we failed we would be killed if we lied we would be killed how huh? we were shown what happened to those who did it those who ran to the police were killed after they left they couldn't escape no matter where they went he would find them that would find them no matter what he didn't know what would happen if we did what he had said he just told him not to be found out by anyone we are the ones at fault we were thinking we were in class with the people i could have killed i smiled and left like we were friends i couldn't help it finding out what he used to be corkless like me and that he bore the pressure of fighting against all for one i despaired at how miserable i was and i despaired at myself I despaired before worrying about whether or not he was okay i'm rotten to the core uh you guy i'm as a villain through and through then why do you keep trying to sit why did you try to save kachan and tokiyami at the training camp did you leave the cheeses that night because all for one told you to if you only face painful things then you won't be able to twinkle it's not that's not it is it that was an sos from you that i didn't notice i mean you're crying out right now without the thought to come not because you care that you can do what all for one told you to do right i know a hero who didn't give all for one everything even when he was using her it was just that her spirit was crushed young midoriya just because you committed a crime doesn't make you a villain for life which is something deku understood through his fight with gentle and stuff take my hand aoyama that's a deku yes you could still be a hero wait midoriya since uh, gag aoyama he's still in custody you can't take your hand no matter the situation, it won't erase the fact that he helped all for one. Besides, we can only assume that he's safe based on the current situation. But we can't fa say for sure that what happened to Nagant won't happen to him. We shouldn't let him speak anymore until we get the results from Central Hospital. Mr. and Mrs. Ayama. Why didn't you report that we were going to attack Kamina? We cannot contact him ourselves. Only when he wants to contact us are we provided with contact information which changes each time. So we wouldn't be able to use you to get to him if we were caught, huh? Then... Detective Tsukuchi. All for one is nowhere to be found. That's one way of looking at the, our current situation, right? But it's technically like means we're done for. That's probably why we're desperately throwing people at the problem now. But that's why at least, at least for the first move, we can make Shigaraki and others, others move the way we want. I see. If we look at it differently, the current situation is that Aoyama is the only one who may be able to trick all for one. Aoyama, I'll say it one more time. He can still be a hero. <sighs> the funny thing is, too, Aoyama's had multiple moments in the plot where he just disappears. He just, it's gone no one else around him he's just gone and during that time where he left those cheeses for midoriya we started to kind of add up it's like it actually makes a lot of sense for him to be the traitor but then it's like oh no he's just relating to azuku which is like okay maybe we were wrong but no that's way too deliberate for me to believe that horikoshi the author didn't do it intentionally and so i find myself believing that he was kind of playing us which i'm okay with but the th it's funny that the thing that gave him away was that he wasn't happy that they found izuku because it meant that aoyama had to continue on with the deception and lie it's mighty convenient to have aoyama and his family just discussing that out in the woods but it's out of the woods where they thought nobody would find him and it's more so that they're trying to kind of talk him through the process like look we've done everything all these things we've come this far you just need to keep going and so we can all survive this the equivalent of well honestly it's a lot worse than making a deal with the mafia or the yakuza or whatever more than likely when they made the deal with all for one they thought we just have to give him money. We have plenty of money. We just pay the dude whatever he wants and we get this thing. That's probably all they thought they would have to do. But then they gave him Aoyama a role where he had to sell out these kids, put lives in danger. And if they tried anything, they'd be killed. Oh yeah, they could try to pay their way out of this, all sorts of things, but all for one would have them killed easily like nobody's business because ayama tends to be forgotten sometimes if he's not being boisterous no one sees him at all and it also makes sense that when all for one wasn't evolved and he was locked away ayama was a lot more cheerful 
He tried to form deeper connection. He tried to be done with it. But then the man breaks out and everything goes to pandemonium. It, it, all, it all connects so neatly. It all fits together so well. And the thing is, people let themselves be tricked by this kind of stuff all the time. You might not want to believe it, but it is very common for this kind of stuff to happen. Especially people who don't understand just how dangerous someone can be with a lot of influence and power. Do not underestimate people, especially ruthless ones. But it's another showing of the flaws in the society of hero that even the wealthy fear the thought of being quirkless because quirks are given so much emphasis in the society. From Deku's perspective, it just because it's just because he wanted to be a hero. He aspired to be something that he couldn't. A one in a million chance of failure. But from Aoyama's perspective, while well, I mean, he's rich, he'd want for nothing. To hell if he doesn't have a quirk. He's got that money. But so much emphasis and importance are put on quirks in this society that who knows? He might have been shunned. He might have been looked down upon. He might have been bullied, which is the exact kind of thing we saw for Deku. Shoot, right now I'm watching X-Men 97, where you had Roberto da Costa, a character who was hiding that he was a mutant, but when he, time of recording where I'm at right now, he brings it forward to his parents. His parents accept him. They're like, oh, we don't care that you're a mutant, son. Now, how do we hide this so the share holders don't find out? They cared about their bottom line in the end more so than anything else. And if you think it's something that can only happen in fiction, I envy your life. <laughs> I envy your life. But they really did good with this reveal. I really enjoyed it. It's a nice good through line through everything. And I had a good time. Yeah. I, I, my heart bled for Aoyama. Much like it did in the manga. So... The good, good work, good work here. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you always believe it was Aoyama, or are you shocked at the at the revelation? And do you feel bad for Aoyama, or do you feel that he deserves to be locked away for what he's done? Should his friends forgive him, or should they not? A lot of questions of forgiveness when it comes to this series as well. But I want to hear from you. So like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. I've been used this then and hope to see you later. So then take care. Bye bye.